Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some goodies for the GT4. Let me show you what we got here. So, first thing we have is something I've been wanting for it um, since before the car was even in the country. It is a set of clear front indicators to get rid of those yellow ones. Um, so that's really sick. Went down to Brisbane, picked those up from a buddy that I have picked up some stuff from him before. I let him drive the GT4 and I drove his beam swapped 3S because I've never driven a beams before so that was really cool. I uh, got a SAS steering wheel boss kit adapter thing and my last vertex wheel to throw on the GT4 for now. It's not my favorite one but it will do for now. It's better than the stock wheel that's on it. So let's go throw all this gear into the 205. So I'm going to need you to put the child down. Bruh, should I report this? God damn. So I pulled the GT4 down where I want to work on it. And um, yeah, those orange ones do be looking hella gross. So you're not a fan of those. So you're very keen to get these in. And those are in. Looking way better than the orange ones. Big fan. Big fan, boys. Next up on our shift to do today is to swap these steering wheels over. So get this uh, old factory one off and get the boss kit on, put the vertex on it, and uh, make sure the horn works as well. Definitely want the horn working on this car. Um, that's kind of essential, especially on this. Don't really care too much about on that. Or uh, I think it's even working on the MR2. I think perhaps is the only one that doesn't have a working horn at the moment, so that's pretty fucking bad. But um, yeah, let's see how far into this we can get before we break some shit. Front of the wheel's off, that was super easy. Just a bolt from up underneath here. Um, then you pull the face of it off, then you have your horn. And you have to disconnect that. Should be able to pull the whole assembly out. There's no cruise control on this one, which is really good because when I did the boss kit on, on Braps, that had cruise control, so I had to cut shit out of the way and fucking pull out all these other little plugs and stuff. So this should be, Super simple. Um, so yeah, get this off and should be able to pull the whole thing out. So that one there is a 18 mil for future reference. Um, so now you can see all the splines in there. Um, so pretty much there's no easy way to do this. You just have to fucking yeet it off. So I found the best way is to get right the fuck back. Um, yeah, steering wheel adjustment all the way down. <laughs> and just fucking rock the cunt side to side. Oh, oh my god! Oh, dude, I'm gonna fucking knock myself out. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Mad breath. I'm gonna move myself in a bit. I got short ass legs, so I can fucking push off the back of the back of the car. Oh, shit. Oh jeez, yeah boy. So here's the boss kit on. What you want to do is you make sure your wheels are still, you know, your actual physical wheels on the car are still somewhat pointing straight. Um, and you will put this on. Obviously you see it's got splines there, so you can have a little bit of adjustment, but um, let's try and get it as straight as possible. You find the bolt pattern that matches your wheel. So you can see those ones match mine. So it's got two other, different ones which don't quite don't quite match up so yeah must be for different different stud wheel patterns whatever the fuck you want to call it um so you are gonna yeah get your boss kit for the toyota people this part number here should should be pretty good for most toyotas from this era um this is the sas one these ones are about 70 70 bucks something like that um this is the sort of thing you don't want to cheap out and get a eBay one because this is what's keeping you steering your car. Same same reason you don't cheap out on um, suspension, brakes, um, tires. That's the type of, type of shit that stops you from uh, ending up in a ditch. Now I know with my last boss kit, it had a bit of play in it. Um, just between the actual, you know, this nut being all the way down and onto, onto the boss kit. There was just like maybe, one, one and a half millimeters of play. So I'm gonna put this all the way down and see if I need to um, get a washer or um, it's just something really. If you have a washer big enough, that'll be enough to sort it out. But um, 
we'll see how it goes on this one. Oh, probably need to give it a couple more oogie doogies. Oh. Yeah, so there's a bit of play between it, and that's just the way the shaft is. <laughs> Your mother. I'll give you a look. So I don't know if you can see, but it kind of runs out of um, thread just before it gets completely flush back here. You can see the splines are a little bit sticking out as well. So if this, if the actual boss kit itself was like somewhere sitting like, um, like oh, it's hard to fucking, like that, it would be flush, but because it sits back a little bit, you gotta put a bit of washer, a little washer in behind there. So a bit of a pain in the ass, but um, yeah, having your steering wheel play a little bit is really fucking annoying. The steering doesn't play, it's more so the actual wheel will will um, be able to pull back and forward like that, which is not fun at all. It's real sketchy when you're driving, so um, any size washer behind there should be fine. Um, I'll go see what I have. Hopefully I have something. Well, I don't seem to have a washer big enough, so uh, it do be questionable shit time. You, uh, you kids ever heard of a Dremel? That seems to have done the job pretty well, boys. Probably could be a little bit better, but you know, we'll live with it. Well, that's all on. The embroidery feels pretty nice. Um, didn't get the horn to work. I have it all hooked up correctly, but um, it's got its own little like metal ring where you're meant to push down and that's what grounds it to have it go off. But, um, oh well, it'll do for now. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick install and uh, remember boys, no simping.